So here at Lockdown Studio, we love talking about Gen Z and what makes them tick. And naturally, social media is a part of that. And naturally, you cannot talk about social media and how people use social media without talking about YouTube. YouTube, one of the original, one of the OGs of social media um, in the early noughties, and it's still going strong. Um, 2.49 billion monthly active users, um, which is like just a, an immense number and that takes it up right up there with you know with facebook and instagram etc so and in, in the uk around 24 percent of youtube users were between the ages of 16 and 24 years old and just as a side comment as well so 44 percent of users were between the ages of 25 and 44 years old so needs to say it's a platform that cannot be ignored and my kind of view is that, and uh, Connor, you might chuck in some more stats as, as we talk about this, but my view is, is that YouTube is one of the most underrated platforms when it comes to employer marketing, employer branding, and recruitment marketing. Yeah. Because often it is just seen as a place to just deposit your videos that you've produced and not much else. But when you look at what YouTubers are doing on YouTube, they are, they are running channels. Let's think about the name youtube channel they are literally running a tv style channel that is about creating content that their audiences want to listen to yeah. and doing it regularly it's um, they're almost running businesses i mean you know we always yeah. uh, chris we always use the mr beast example because of the size mm. of productions and works he's been able to deliver off the back of his audience you know when you look at the hunger games thing he did the amount of multi billions he invested in that through youtube you know, mm. it shows you the the breadth of uh, the breadth of what's available um, and what what YouTube yeah. are able to build on the platform, um, both financially it's, and audience wise. It's literally a serious, serious business because YouTube is. A, this is the thing about YouTube as well: the monetization and people who are creating content on YouTube can make a lot of money on on, on youtube so there's a set, definitely incentive there but also the reason why that money is there is because of the amount of time that people are spending on youtube and like in the uk alone children are spending 66 minutes per day on youtube and that's an average those numbers also will will go up i mean significantly when you correlate that with that overall audience of you know nearly 2.5 billion users they're spending just shy of a full day a month in the youtube app it's 23.1 hours a month in the app mm -hmm. you, know, you think that is pretty much one whole day a month in youtube uh, yeah don't get me wrong admittedly it might be you know video you know music playing on your phone whilst you're in the shower by youtube but it adds mm -hmm. up it's still time in the ecosystem of youtube and that's exactly. why YouTube is a serious player in this social media argument and this social media discussion because it's often not seen as a social media platform. It's sometimes just seen as another Netflix. Going back to what you were saying, is seventy-five percent of YouTube teenagers are on the platform at least once a day. Um, and TikTok in this Pew Research Center research done last year. That's fifty-eight percent. So again, yeah, backing on what you're saying is, you know, YouTube is a is significant, you know, player to, to be keeping in mind. And also, you look at the the introduction of YouTube Shorts, which was done a while ago now, but this is a direct response to what TikTok were doing and Instagram Reels, because Instagram Reels is a response to what TikTok were doing. YouTube Shorts is literally short form video content on the platform and. If you've you got, can't see them, join them. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. And that's say that's innovation, isn't it? As well, I think that's yeah. often mis kind of yeah mistook for invention. Um, invention is often anyway. I'll shut up about that. Um, um, but when it comes to YouTube Shorts, there are 1.5 billion monthly active users consuming YouTube Short content. So, so this is the reason why you've got you know creators using youtube and brands using youtube significantly because people are on there let's kind of talk a bit more about you know what people are doing um on on youtube yeah i think i mean look it's a video centric platform right that's the thing we have to remember and i think the interesting shift with youtube now is you've got historically youtube has been 
you know, you, you I say longer form video, you know, we're saying short form video now is your TikTok style video, right? Although admittedly you can get longer on there, but let's say that's short form and YouTube has been very much long form. You've now obviously, like you mentioned, you've got the best of both worlds now. You've got your longer form sort of feature length polished YouTube videos. You've got your shorter form YouTube shorts. And you've also got a middle ground of your two, three minute YouTube, you know, quick informational videos mm. um, that might be for, you know, either teaching you to do something. So there was a, the second biggest search engine currently is YouTube. And it's behind Google. Yeah, it's, been, it's been like that for years, yeah. And that won't be a surprise that it's behind Google, right? And what mm. what is it? Google owned both YouTube and, and, and obviously Google. So, they have a monopoly in the search space, right? But mm. sometimes when people don't know how to do something, this is the example I always think. When someone doesn't know how to do something, for example, I had an issue with my copy machine downstairs. I went on YouTube and I typed in, I think it was the specific part I need to change. And I typed in how to change blah, blah, part on blah, blah, copy machine. Mm. And I watched a YouTube video and I watched the video as I did it. That's how a lot of people will be getting information from YouTube when mm. just googling it so to speak won't give them what they need mm. youtubing it does because you're able to follow along so there is a lot of learning and doing i think on the mm. youtube platform um that, that ranks really well and it's a reason it's such a popular search engine as well for people and actually the um there's this youtube report called why we watch which was done last year that taps into what you're talking about and um and they they also talk about how actually YouTube is is also being used as a place of entertainment, and there's a big uh, event that goes on in the US. Sometimes I think I think in London as well, but it's called VidCon. And last year at VidCon, um, there were people being interviewed about how what do they use, how do they consume their information or their content, and everyone was saying not TV, not TV. It's either YouTube or it's TikTok. Sometimes Twitch as well, depending on the kind of stuff they wanted to, to to entertain themselves with so so it's definitely yeah i mean it's it's definitely so much more than a place to you know to just publish the videos that you've produced that maybe sit on your website um but in terms of what kind of tips and tricks for, for employees when it comes to youtube obviously we've got the thing about classic thing we've said this before with the other platforms which is right to do so which is just spend more time on the app get it on your phone and just start looking at what content is being created and what content is popular um and i think also once you've done that you can then start to think about well okay what's the kind of the parallel of this if you're thinking about it in the context of maybe not sports maybe not fitness maybe not food um maybe not music but in the context of employment actually think about your employers and what they can contribute in terms of helping educate people but also helping them inspire people um, and that can be the opinions and advice and the stories that they have so that actually when people are going onto youtube to learn something there's more chance that your content is coming up there rather than just the there's still a place for it but rather than just the the classic day in the life talking heads although we do know that behind the scenes content and really getting a feel for what people are doing um you know in an organization is important but there's a whole lot of other Kind of areas of content that can be created for that will sit well on on youtube as well what are kind of other thoughts you got kind of well i think there's a there's a quick win and we spoke about this with instagram we kind of alluded to this in in tiktok as well is, is correlating your your shorts content from those platforms uh mm -hmm. and obviously ensuring it's edited and tweaked to, to fit the youtube short sort of style ever so slightly mm -hmm um so make sure it's not got TikTok watermarks things like this they, those little quick wins um but saves you time if you can duplicate in certain areas um mm. i think nothing wrong with that at all um i think also having a look at things like live events you can do on youtube as well because you can actually stream mm. them via youtube there's there's a really popular streaming platform in twitch that people use for especially gaming and things like mm. that um but i think for more general away from gaming um i think youtube's a really great platform as a as a live stream resource and something that's definitely untapped um something we as not going to uni do quite a lot we use youtube for all of our live stream events we do clearing live etc uh, mm. but you don't necessarily need a professional kit to do that either you could do it 
um, as you know, live Q and A's just with a half decent webcam in an office as well. Yeah, absolutely. And I think it's really a bit of a bit of a self plug here, but you know, it, it, what we're doing with the REF, for example, you know, we've created a podcast podcast called Find Your Force, and that is on our YouTube channel as a dedicated playlist. So the latest season is out on there, but that is very much about going right. What can we what video content can we produce that is going to be of value to people so that people are talking about sports and what it's what boxing has given them in terms of what they learned about themselves but also employability skills that they maybe thought they didn't have um and also a bit of a shout out to the um software company miro which is an online whiteboard interactive softball company um they are actually they've got life at miro youtube channel and that's great because they've got they've got their tech talent talking about everything from advice for candidates to what they do in the organization, the projects they, 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 they work on. So definitely like your employees are the experts, let them be the experts and you get the benefit of obviously them also um, being engaged as employees and that in itself helps with, you know, things like retention as well. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. At the end of the day, people want to feel part of something and they want to be, feel involved. Um, so where they do, that's a great way of doing so and getting them involved in things outside just their, their day job as well. Exactly. Exactly. Well, look, I'm sure we'll come back and do something else about YouTube um, in, in the future because there's, I think, so much happening on the platform. It's, it's definitely worth having multiple conversations about this. But yeah, good stuff. Thanks very much. Definitely. Thank you.